So yesterday I made the horizontal stabilizer right front spar attachment bracket. So lots of cutting and filing and drilling on that part there. Uh, really happy with the way that one turned out. More cutting and filing today. I'm going to move on to page 8-4 and work on the horizontal stabilizer front spar caps. So that's these guys here. Uh, these two long ones. I'm also going to work on the two long stringers as well as the two short stringers. So all these parts, uh, it's kind of a similar procedure and similar to uh, the vertical stabilizer spark caps where you use these notches that are already on the part, uh, draw a line, cut that away, file it smooth, deburr it, uh, you know, clean it up nice, and, and uh, that's the deal. Uh, the plans are explicit where you, you know, where you are connecting and cutting uh, using these notches, you, you cut away the notch, right? So you, uh, you, know, you cut past the notch just a little bit so that you know, by the time you're done, there won't be any evidence of, of the notch ever having uh, been there. So I'm gonna get going on that. So start by peeling off the blue vinyl, of course. I peel it off the inside only, not the outside, just because I wanna leave it on there and keep from scratching up the other side for as long as possible. Uh, here I keep can't keep my fat fingers out of the way when I'm trying to hold the steel rule and make a mark, so I keep having to wipe it off with acetone on a paper towel. Uh, and then it finally dawns on me that it'd be a good idea to just clamp the whole thing to the table uh, and clamp the ruler down so I can keep my fingers out of the way as I mark. And then also, there's a pretty significant bow to these parts, just the way they're manufactured, so clamping it to the table um, you know, flattens that out, so that also helps. And now I take it over to the bandsaw, of course, and it's pretty quick work of these cuts. And so there it is. You can still see the notches there. I left a pretty good bit of material so that I could then come along and clean it up on the band, uh, the belt sander. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I take it back over and once again clamp it to the table. Uh, again, that helps, well, it helps hold it, obviously, but it also helps flatten out that curve. And then I just file and file and file and file and file uh, until I get it down you know, past the notches and get it nice and clean and uh, a nice you know, straight line. And there it is. And you can kind of see just how much material I took away there with the file. And then I take it over to the 3M wheel uh, just to just to clean it up a little bit right on the edge. And there it is. There's one end of one spark cap. So same thing on the other end here. I'll speed this way up. And now I've moved on to deburring the length of uh, the entire spark cap. So uh, just like the spars and some of the other thicker pieces, these have the little bumps every few inches. So uh, it does take a pretty good bit of filing to get those uh, all cleaned up. You'll notice uh, every now and then I'll stop and use kind of a, a little metal brush and have to clean the clean the aluminum out of my file. I don't know if anybody has a suggestion of how to keep the file from loading up with material, but uh, I'd love to hear it. It's not too bad, uh, but you know, every now and then you'll just get a, a chunk in there that gets stuck and you have to pick it out. But so now I've flipped it over, uh, deburring the other side too. Now I can peel off the blue stuff and uh, I go and clean up the ends just a little bit more. And so in a minute here, you'll see me go back over to the table and uh, clean it up with some scotch Brite pad and wipe it down to get all the aluminum dust off. And that'll be it for the first one. Uh, for the remaining five, of course, I marked them all, cut them all, filed them all. It was a little more efficient than doing just one at a time, but I thought I'd catch this one start to finish for the video. Uh, this will be a short video because I won't show all the rest. They're just more of the same. I did figure I'd show a little better close-up here of marking the line so you can see how it goes through the notch and kind of out the other side so that you end up cutting the notch off. And you can see how I was clamping the ruler to the, to the table to keep from hitting my fingers. But that's it. There they are. Spar caps and stringers.